Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we're gonna have a little chat here on the floor in the data center talking about disk shelves in the patreon discord um, I had a chat with a guy called Raphael from Österreich Österreich well and um, he was looking for a disk shelf and he was looking for an uh, Hewlett Packard one I have my work cut out for me there yeah, <laughs> but he was looking at 300 gigabyte SAS drives to fill a 24 bay Hewlett Packard um, storage array dash thing. That got me thinking that um, I might not have explained what I'm doing here because I have a I have a 24 bay. Uh, these are the uh, 3.5 inch hard drives. The ones he was looking at was 2.5 inch, but I have one with 600 gigabyte hard drives and. Um, yeah, not, that's not very smart actually. I, I'm doing this for the video purpose and to, to try and mess with it. And for that purpose, it's, it's good enough. You don't need the largest disc in the world to just have a, have a go and do some testing and playing around. For that, it's fine. But like right now, there's 2600 gigabyte drives in here. And so combined, that is 12 terabytes. And, um, this is what a 12 terabyte drive look like and that will replace these 20 drives down there. And yes, this does not have the same amount of IOs than 20 drives has. If I really wanted the IO, I would go with an SSD. So um, a lot of spinning drives has been replaced with SSD drives. So if you want the IO, you just get an SSD. Way better, way cheaper. I connected the meter to, to um, well, that's actually the top one. This one is occupied with 24 one terabyte drives. That means that to replace all of these drives, I would need two of these uh, 12 terabyte drives and not doing anything. It's not connected to anything. This box is just on and it's using, wait for it, 1.1 amp, 240. 47 watts just sitting there doing nothing and it even has a bad disc I need to take that out and um, write bad on it so yeah it uses a lot of power a single disc like this it doesn't matter if it's 18 gigabytes or 16 terabytes they use about the same amount of power somewhere between 8 and 10 watts usually and um, so having a lot of them just increases the amount of power that they use so the hard drives are naturally what is uh, making this use about 200 and just below 250 watts i'm sure these hard drives now that they are not doing anything is using as little as possible if i spun it up and made an array across all the drives and started copying data to and from it i'm sure that number would be a lot higher but yeah it looks cool to have a lot of drives uh, but for everyday use, it's not great. Uh, my everyday use is a NAS up here from a brand that we are not talking about. And I have four drives in that and they're all 10 terabytes. I have consolidated on less drives because that is going to make me poor in the long run. I have the X3550 model 4 booted and connected to the to the dash down here. I had to pop out all the drives for the server to actually allow to boot, which means that I'm having difficulties with these. Oh, what are these? Uh, Seagate um, one terabyte drives, and they have this um, injector on here. It's a SATA drive, but it acts like a SAS drive. And well, when then when they're in, the server does not like it. So uh, I have now booted server 2019, and I'll try and pop one in and see what happens. Oh, and by the way, uh, with all the drives popped out and only the power supplies running in there and the fans, it's using 80 watts. So. Um, yeah, if you um, if you want to use a big disk shelf like this, well, you um, you really have to need it and not just run it for fun and giggles. Okay, so here is the management software. It's MegaRaid Storage Manager. 
we will pick the right This The first controller is the built-in in the server and then it has this one which is the external one which we, um, we firmware updated and also updated the BIOS on it in an earlier video. So right now it only has the enclosure and well zero backplanes, I don't know, zero drives. So I'm trying gonna have one drive here, this one. We removed this injector from it. It's a regular SATA drive and you can kind of see that there is spacing between the power connector and the data connector. And on the SAS drives, there is not that. So I'm gonna try and pop that in. It became green down there. And we'll give it a little bit, see if it recognizes that at some point. It does not. Uh, I just ran this uh, update up here, that one, refresh, and it has not popped up in there, so uh, yeah, that might not be the way to go. So now I'm gonna try and pop in one of the drives with the SAS injector on there, let's see what happens there. It sees something. Uh, something happened down here. Uh, it recognized a 255 drive, which um, eh, it's not exactly what I was hoping for. I am getting the idea that these Hewlett Packard drives, which came out of the Hewlett Packard storage solution in EVO or something, uh, they might be very weirdly formatted. Because I popped in two. The first one didn't show up, the second one has showed up. See that? There it popped in and populated. It claims to be number one, but there's only one, even though we have popped two in. And it, it shows up here. It's probably also here on the logical drives. It's there. And it is formatted 512 bytes. Unconfigured good. Over here in the Windows Disk Manager, it's nowhere to be found. Uh, the di the drives that are, well it, it's a it's a kind of a mess of drives if you weren't the one to uh, to make it uh, first four drives are on that Oracle F40 flash card in there and then the last one is a 500 gigabytes that we are booting on and then there's a CD-ROM drive which we don't care about so yeah it doesn't show up here it ever so slightly shows up in here. So, yeah, I really don't think I want to mess around anymore with those irritating drives. So I have some replacements on the shelf over here. So, um, so we're gonna replace those 24 one terabyte drives with uh, three 10 terabyte drives. And for the bottom one, we're just gonna replace all those uh, 20 drives that I found working uh, with a 12 terabyte. So, um, so all of these 48 drives will just be replaced with four drives. I found long ago that these IBM caddies, they will fit in the NetApp storage box. And they're very nice IBM, so. And I'm able to, uh, to see them apart. I was not able to see it when it was in that slot over here. When I moved it over into this slot, it pops up in the disk management tool. It still does not pop up in uh, disk manager in uh, server 2019. Uh, I'm gonna try and replace those two with 10 terabytes as well. Okay, so now we have three uh, 10 terabytes. They show up as nine point something. Um, I must admit that uh, I have some of, they're not the greatest drive. They have predicted failures. Um, so um, yeah, that's why I have them. So I wanted to try and put that 12 terabytes in bay number zero or one or whatever. Let's see if that does anything. I think that is... Oh, it did see something. It did not pop up though. Why does it call it 255? So I popped it in another bay. Uh, the, the bay just below where uh, one. So that might be bay number five. -ish. And it says four here, so it actually pops up and it's 10.9 terabytes uh, it shows up as in here so it does work doesn't work in bay number one i do not know what 
uh, with this box but it's always missing with me right now I have all of these in because I've removed the drive it's just the trays so it's just fillers so um, I have the 12 terabytes in the first one 10 10 10 and a 3 terabyte in this one and if we go up here all of the drives turns up in the device manager the device manager sees them this is the 3 terabyte 10 10 10 12 uh, rate controller and these are the flash in the oracle f40 controller so um, all of the drives shows up in windows server 2019 um, over here in this part the 12 terabyte shows up as a 10 terabyte because of well you know and the 3 terabyte is there the 3 10 terabytes are nowhere to be seen and if we go in here we can see the 3 10 terabytes and the 3 terabyte and the 12 terabyte is nowhere to be seen so yeah this is definitely missing with me I am as usual totally lost what the heck over here disk manager if it sees anything it would have popped up here as well so yeah um, all the discs that I took out are these Seagate drives uh, I tried to take them into the computer to f uh, make sure that they were working but the computer does not see them either so uh, I think we need to try and put them in this older server and see if they pop up in there okay I powered on the trusty awesome IBM X3650 model 1 and one of the drives turns up and I can see there is an orange light on, on this one so that one is probably not that great so uh, yeah we'll uh, try and go into the array here and initialize that drive insert enter are you sure yes energize and drive awesome that should be energized then so even though the drive shows up here uh, fine uh, when I bring them to the computer in the living room I usually connect them through a little USB thinky I can see the disk in the operating system but it does not um, show up in the disk manager uh, a bit weird so yeah I am putting them in a box um, I'm initializing them first and then putting them in a box just uh, so they're all initialized I did find one of them that was bad beyond uh, doubt it takes a little bit for them to be okay here uh, for the rate controller to, to find them see they haven't showed up yet so I have to wait a little bit uh, there is orange light on there then uh, the rate controller is missing the ones that was in there before and then it has to, um, to to check them out again let's see still nothing Checking out number two over there, so maybe now one of them is there. Oh, the, both of them are there now. Okay. So, we can initialize those. Cool. Okay, so that resulted in 24 Seagate drives here. And, uh, and two Hitachi. I found two that was bad. Um, two Seagates <clears throat> they were they didn't show up right and uh, yeah I'm gonna throw those out and these are the drives I will put these in my shop so if you are ready to do battle with some uh, some Seagate one terabyte drives well you can find them in the shop I'll make sure to leave the link in the description and these two uh, Hitachi drives um, I had some extra on the shelf that uh, wasn't in the in the in the dash but I think we should just take two random ones uh, I don't know yeah that, that one 
and put those in and do an array of those. There, we'll put those in. And shortly they will pop up there. And now they should be there. There they are. Two um, Seagate drives. So let's create an array of those two. There, create array. There is no free initialized space available to create an array. Okay, now that is weird. So we'll have to initialize those drives. There. Create an array. Now we can select them. Press enter. And we can do a let's do a mirror on those two drives. Call it um, copy. They kind of a copy of each other, so all the space we can. Mm, yeah, sure. Done. Creating array. So it has created an array on those two drives. And we should be able to manage this array. You can see our array there. We can do stuff with it down here if we yeah, we can see our two members and it's an OK array. And that array would be presented to the operating system when we boot it. So, um, yeah, the, the drives are perfectly fine. I have no idea why I can't get them to pop up in the server 2019 and Windows at my tiny computer in the living room running Windows 10. Let's just initialize those two drives again. Make sure that they are clean. Yes, yes. Cool. And have them back in the box. Very carefully. There. So, all of this has been replaced. Well, actually, all of it has been replaced. Right now, five drives. Uh, 12 terabyte, 10, 10, 10, and a 3 terabyte. Uh, so, um, like the top one, which was full of 1 terabyte, that would be the three nines here. So instead of 24 terabytes, we have 30 terabytes here. An improvement of six terabytes. Then we have 12 terabytes. They, uh, it replaces all of these drives. Um, there is 20 600 gigabyte drives. So that's 12 terabytes. And then there's the three terabyte and kind of it replaces the, the four that is missing down here. This box was using about 250 watts. I have no reason to expect this one to use any less. So that would be another 250 watts. So 250, 250, that's 500 watts. Right now we are running one of them and it's using, come on, there, 115 watts. It's still a lot of power to run five drive. The box itself is not very economically, and you can get more than NASA's that does this a lot better. But this, um, uh, you can't feel this, but I can feel the cold air being sucked through this. So this is Enterprise. Enterprise is a bit more expensive. Uh, power consumption is not, well, it's important, but it's way more important for this to be online all the time. 24-7 operation is what is at focus. And so if it uses a bit more power, well, it uses a bit more power. So at the moment, I still have all the 600 gigabyte drives in here. And uh, yeah, I'm getting rid of these as well. I think uh, by the time you see this, they might already be at my shop. So um, <clears throat> if you want one terabyte, I got them. If you want 600 gigabytes, I have a few less. I, ha I have 20 of those. And, and if you order a lot, I'll have to do some extra work and unscrew all of those drives. So um, yeah, do uh, visit my shop and please give this video a little like. And thank you very much for watching. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And have a really nice day. Bye-bye.